What, you think a little Willie's funny? That's funny to you? Yeah. All right, well. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another... Uh, stay. We're going to play some standard. I think I'm going to be in an event next week, and uh, it should be sweet. So I want to be I want to be testing some things. Um, Lil Willie. <laughs> oh, you got Elk Tears. You got LaFoaf. You got Lil Willie. You got Quacker 2000, <laughs> which sounds like a friggin' robot. That's a robot duck, right? And this is a deck that Rob submitted to me. I'm going to export this deck. Bring it over here. Go into the decks, go into the save-ems, save it up, and upload it up, <clears throat> and uh, streaming McMeemans, streaming McMeemans, that was my name in college, they used to call me old streaming McMeemans. No, they didn't. Damn it, he's right. I totally made that up, Chad, I lied to you. I lied to you. And then we're going to go upload a new deck. And then we're going to browse for the deck. And then we're going to go Robert. What's his name? Rob Swolmike. That's his name. And put a little thing there. I'm going to OK set it as current. How loud is it outside? Because it sounds loud to me, but it's also really nice outside. So I'm leaving the window open. <laughs> These are just. So whatever you say, it doesn't matter. I'm curious, but not concerned. That's, how, that's what it comes down with. That's what it comes down to. Are right, you ready for this? We're going to get our undergrowth on. Wait, we didn't even explore what's on deck yet. Oh, you're right. It's up too late now. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so it's basically your standard undergrowth deck. Standard under... It's got Stitcher Supplier, Branch Walker, Glow Spore Shaman. It's got Midnight Reaper, so when your guys die, you get more guys. Uh, two Plague Crafters, a Thrashing Brontodon, four Choops, one Golgari Raiders... One Vraska, one Find Broker, which I'm I'm a little uh, I'm a little suspect on. I think I think this card is one of the better cards in the deck. One Carnage Tyrant, two Find Finality, and four Mulder Hulks, which was Rob's pet card, as you may remember from. Uh, uh, yikes! That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh, this is a good one. This is a great one. Wow, this hand's good. Yeah, I'll keep you on the top. What if this was whenever a, cre whenever a creature you control went to the graveyard from anywhere? Oh my god. That would be baller. I thought it was the snow remover in my... Oh, dang. That is loud. Well, hopefully we won't have any more incidents. Alright. I really don't like milling things when I don't have, like, God Pharaoh's gift. Oh, my one Carnage Tyrant is gone. I guess you have, like, a toolbox, though, because you get, like, two fine finalities in the... Uh... Is there no way to get things back from the graveyard? That gets one yike from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is. There's two fine finalities in the Golgari Fine Broker. And there is... Um, what do you call it? Uh, the land. The stupid Memorial to Folly, is it called? Oh, okay. There are four Memorial to Follies. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, do we play Shaman or Branchy Branch? <coughs> Shut up. God. Sorry. No one cares about your problems. It wasn't really a problem, it's just a... Oh, do we want to put the land? Yeah, let's put the land on top. Look at that, we got a land. That's the first time I've ever cared about putting a land on top of my library from uh, from that card. Because next time we can play the land and Branch Walker, and then next time we can play this guy and this. And Trade creatures early. Well, I can't, because they play Drakes, so it's really hard to trade them. Knees, <sighs> knees. Chinese, is that what you said? Ch -ch 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 Chinese, knees. Look at all these creatures we're, 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 de we're deploying to the board, as they would say. Yeah, that guy's good enough. Mike looks like he's phasing out. Yeah, he is. That's it. <laughs> I'm phasing out. <laughs> so what song is that? Do you hear this dog? Oh, I hear him. Not you. I was actually asking the chat because he's real loud right now. Wow. <clears throat> I'm phasing out. I want the world to know. Was that what you were trying to do? No. Okay. What were you doing? Were you doing your own song? No, it was, it was I'm moving out. Because I'm phasing out. Do, 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 do. That's a Billy Joel song. You guys know Billy Joel? I thought it was a stray dog in my alley. <laughs> 
Apparently everything is in Shane's alley. Wow, this is a 4-4? I wish I didn't keep this Midnight Reaper now. No, I still do. <coughs> boom, 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 boom. Get him. That's a good trade. And by trade, I mean... God, Hunter being real loud right now. I think he sees a dog outside. He's like, oh, there's a doggo. <coughs> Probably one in the backyard. There's definitely, the yeah, we definitely have a dog in our backyard. Why are you just lava coiled my guy? What's wrong with you? Were you born this route, or did you did you get this way over time, you think? Hey, look, I found a little feather. A feather? What the hell? I think it's from my pillow. <laughs> Was it on your body? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'll, I only use down alternative, so I wouldn't have any feathers in my... In my my locale. Yeah, but this pillow is free. Yeah, well, everything you have is free because you don't make uh you don't make any money, so you don't buy anything. So you're basically homeless, and you we live you live here for free. So I don't. <laughs> Yeah, but it's basically. But the same. if you want to switch to that, I'm I'm fine with that. If you want to go to that model, <clears throat> I'm open to suggestion. Oh my God, Hunter, dude! Oh, we drew a woodland semi. Oh my God, <laughs> he's real loud, dude. It's crazy. Is it worth them taking one here? Probably not. Is it? Do we die if they do anything though? Mm. You know, we're at 19. I don't think he can deal us that much. Uh, yeah, but if he plays... Let's say they play Crackling Drake, which is also going to be a 6-4. Um, and then they play Maximize Altitude. Maximize Velocity, which gives it haste. And they both become 7s. Yep, okay, so... There we go. Two 6-4s. <clears throat> they could give it... Make it a 7-7. Seven, seven. They both attack for 14. Eh, it's pretty close. It's close but enough that I have to day. be like, I have to be like, oh no. Where are my crawl harpooners? They're in the deck somewhere. I don't know though. Your question is valid. Dang it, Case! I thought that was gonna be one. There's two in the deck, which I guess isn't a tremendous amount. <clears throat> but not today. The sad thing is, we're like we're basically dead on board. Like they can play one spell and make these guys sevens, so I'm not too concerned with it. Like, we just have to draw something here. That's not going to do it. And that's going to be the end with them at three, unfortunately. All right. Well, that was close. Should have attacked there. Why? Well, they would have blocked and taken one? I don't know if them taking one is really a strategy I want to implore. Ah, moving out. We also didn't see any Chupacabras. We didn't see Verasco. I didn't. I wouldn't. I guess that would kill the Edinburgh Drake. All right, so that would have been an answer. Uh, find finalities would have been an answer, but we didn't. I mean, we didn't have six man. But we still, still would have been nice to see them. Plague Crafter was an answer. <coughs> Crawl Harpooner was an answer, and Necrotic Wounds were answers at that point. So we had thirteen answers for those creatures. We didn't see any of them. Oh my God, Hunter! <laughs> He's just real upset right now. I like Frasca's Contempt, too, just because their creatures are so shout They're so, uh... Sensitive. Oh, we can take Bronto Don out. Is Necrotic Wound good enough? All their guys are four. I'm gonna take the Wounds out for the Contempts. Add a Rex Sage? Why? What do they have that I can even target with a Rex Sage? I don't even know what Rex Sage hits in their deck. What enchantments and artifacts do they have? I thought it was like zero. <clears throat> What'd you say? I thought it was like zero. I also zero. thought it was zero. I don't know what he's talking about. I think he's drunk or I'm or I'm like just real dumb. Like the problem is like what do you cut here? Like I cut this Golgari Raider? I don't know. Whatever. I think it's fine. 
Yeah, no trophies seems weird, too. That's interesting. That's oh, interesting. there are no assassin's trophies. Weird. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep this hand. You board it in so you can slam it and say you got wrecked. <laughs> oh, right before click conceding, and then you're like, all right, good games. Eh, I guess we'll just play this gentleman here. The guy just mills four cards, right? Well, three. And then when yeah. it dies, it mills another three. If Wound exiled the creature, I'd be totally on board with that. You want to cross? I don't. Okay, sure. That's good to know. Take it easy, dude. Ah, uh, graveyard. You know, just bolt this thing. Sure, you got it, pal. Wound exiles it. What? Oh, that changes everything. Well, now I feel like a dummy. I'm sad this is being recorded and going to be documented throughout history. You'll always be known as a dummy now. I will. Well, if that's already the case, sure. But wow, I had no idea. This sucks so bad. I have bad signal and can't hear in the bank. Is it because the bank is uh, too loud, or is it because they de disable your ears when you go in there? I'm moving out. Oh, can you stop killing my things? Holy bajolies. <clears throat> bajolies? Yeah, don't talk about my bajolies. That's rude. Down on Bajoli Street? This is me. You done messed up, you done messed up Aaron. I'm a real AA Ron. Don't talk about Bajoli Street like you've been there. You ain't from the Bajoli Streets. I never said I was. Yeah, but you implied it. No, I didn't. Hey, man, what are we having for, for, food, for food later, bro? Those french fries look good. <clears throat> <laughs> Those French fries on the there's a picture of French fries on the internet and I'm like what do we have for dinner and he's like those French fries look good can we get them no because that's not how the internet works I also got to take me to the airport tomorrow so hope you're ready for it I figured what time I got to check in for my flight hold up hold up uh, I think my flight leaves at like two o four p.m. yeah hmm so. Not not too early. We can have the rights deli if you want to beforehand. <clears throat> Alright, so they're not playing any creatures, which is awkward because our hand is gassed. I really don't want to run any of these creatures out there. Oh, it's 2.30. That's even better. Check in. Check em's making em's. Oh, B40. So, be there like so my flight leaves at 2.30. It's currently 2.35. I just checked in. And I am B44 in position. That seems pretty late for such an early check-in. Is that... Oh, this dude's dead. <clears throat> ah, I'm moving That's out. a good question. Are you going to be streaming on the plane? Yeah. Wait, no. Oh. Curl will order you and Ghost Mike some fries. Yeah, that's probably true. I hope you got two spells. I don't actually hope you have two spells. Well, that's obnoxious. Wow, that's amazing. I don't know how this deck isn't, like, just the deck to play. It's really annoying, dude. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's not worth it. You have to have the... Where am I going? Going to New York. Going to New York to see your boy, your little chicken tender boy. Going to New York to see your boy, your little chicken tender boy. You like that song? It's great. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, boy. Did they just lava coil my... It's my stitcher supplier? Jesus. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel hey, here. Hey, man, what's the significance of that comic? Uh, it's the first appearance of Mephisto. I actually had it, mm. and then when when I was uh, when I needed money because you sold it. Yeah, I sold it. My little chicken tender boy. Did I get you? It sounded like it got you. 
Talking about chicken tender balls. Man, this is weird. What's weird? I got like seven and a half hours of sleep, but I'm like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good to go. That's because seven and a half hours is a lot of sleep. Yeah, but normally when I get that much, I'm like tired. That's because you're, you know what? I don't have a reason. You, you're just, you're not a well, you're not an efficient human being is really what I would, what I would. Well, wager. I was efficient today. I'm feeling efficient. Say, there you go. That's good. Wait, hold on. When I messaged you and I was like, hey, it's going to be 2.15, were you... Oh, did you stay awake? Yeah. That's probably why, because you've been awake for like a half an hour rather than six minutes. No, but normally, like, it'll affect my day. It'll affect my day. Man, I really wish I brought those necrotic wounds in. <coughs> oh, this is nice. Thanks for running your 1-1 one, one bird into my reach guy. Good deal. Yeah, I bet he didn't realize that guy had reach. No one ever does. No one ever realizes the reachy boys. Well, those Ricci boys are at it again. Uh, no, I do not want to land on the top. Don't want to land on the tippity top. I still don't think we attack here. Like, we attack, they block here, they get a free bird out of her. They just block here. They take five and go to eight, but then we lose a guy. Eh, it doesn't feel great. Michael B on the tippity top. Michael B. on the tippity top. Do you like that song? <clears throat> I thought it was pretty good. It's my little chicken tender boy. Well, that's a land, but it's not a good land. I guess it's the best land. Actually, we have... Eh, God. Now this guy's just terrible for us. Is this Nasif's list? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. It's a uh, Robert. A Robert C list. Although Robert could have stolen it from Nasif and then tweaked it. Robert was mentioning a Nasif undergrowth list, so maybe it is Rob. Maybe maybe Rob stole it from Nasif. Dang, that's so like Rob. What a Nasif thief. See what he did there? Good talk. Kitty cat, don't you try to sneak up on that window. Oh, he's gonna. I'll end you. Oh lord, he coming. Why wouldn't they attack first? I guess he, he could easily attack with this guy. I mean, I would, wow, double charter course? With no profit? Does that deck normally play the chicken? I don't know. They would have been sideboarded that bad boy in. Where's your dredge guys at? I don't know, man. I don't know what this deck is doing. Sacrifice. Let's get a Midnight Reaper. I'm a Joker. I'm a Smoker. I'm a Midnight Reaper. I'm swinging out here in the sun. I'm going to throw all these gentlemen in the garbage can. So you're going to block here and block here, probably. You take five. And this is where they go, like, shock this guy first. Sure. Sure. <clears throat> Shut up. Hooray, bank Wi-Fi. You should just get a cellular carrier that actually gives you service. That's what I would recommend. Ooh, got him. Still can't hear, though. Well, that's good. He's not going to be able to hear your sick burn. Yeah, well, it's, too, it's good because he'd probably end up trying to hurt himself if he did because it's that bad. Wow. Bop, 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 bop. We've been live for 35 minutes already? No, we've been live for like 18. Of course, exactly. This is exactly what I said they'd do. Actually incredible. Two shocks and two lava coils in the top 28 cards. That's a, that's a good ratio. I'm proud of you. No, 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 there you go. Might as well get the big guy off the board if I'm tapped out. Gosh, I hate not having the... Uh... Necrotic Wound Exiles, man, come on. Wow, that's a twelve. You got the you got the you got the velocity here? <clears throat> no. Okay, well. Flyers are good. What does getting back a Hulk and starting a loop even do? You know I'm dead, right? <laughs> do this cute thing while they have a twelve four, a four three, and a twelve four on board. Yeah, good. Good tech. Uh, uh, yes, I remember Harpooner has reach, which is why I blocked one of the one ones that attacked me earlier with it. These are good this is good good tips, Rob. Good tips. 
Handicapable Gamer, thank you so much for the, res the sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Do the cute thing. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, we're not dead, strictly. Get back away to kill Drake. I thought you wanted me to get back Mulder Hulk because, uh, you know, loops, bro. Loops, 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 loops. No, we are still loops. dead. Because this guy dies. Like, we're just dead. Like, what are you even talking about, Rob? <laughs> they have two drinks, dude. Yeah, this game's over, man. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, that was a good I game. I mean, you could have killed one Drake, blocked one Drake. We, but... No, we can't, because it fights. Crawler oh, fights, fights the creature. Oh, okay. So, like, you don't have to keep the harpooner. We've been dead for, like, eight turns. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. Right now, after one round... Um... I'm not feeling it yet. Maybe we'll get there. Rob would have found the line, just saying. <laughs> yeah, he would have found the line from the bank. Smells like we're missing assassin's trophies. I agree with you. It feels unreasonable. Rob, where are you? You know who Rob is, you, you dummy. You and Elk Tears were trolling Rob that day. You could have Reclamation Sage and say wrecked you before cons that's true. Yeah, like if we brought in Wreck Sage there, it literally targets not one card they played against us, which is a very weird choice. Weird flex, but okay. I'm in a bank waiting room. I don't know what that means. Congratulations. That's also How a weird long flex. are you going to be at the bank? What are you doing there? He's probably robbing it. We're probably literally witness to a bank robbery in progress. He's robbing it. We're witnessing. He's robbing it. <laughs> oh, dang it. Time for the hammer. The hammer's like right over there. You can I know. Oh, That's no. That's where I got the inspiration for. I ain't no snitch. <clears throat> Why are you yelling about being in the bank, man? He, he gets loud. Name, Rob, surname, in the bank. <laughs> He gets loud. He does get loud. Sometimes I'm like, Rob, you gotta take it easy, buddy. You're getting real loud. I'm a Michael B. Oh, Michael, Michael, the pipes are calling. Remember them pipes, boy? No, I forgot about the pipes. Your mother never forgot about the pipes, though. Was this one ungraded? Yeah, which is always risky. And I'm like, oh, let me see the back of this bad boy. It doesn't look terrible. 200 is pretty low. The copy I sold, I think, was an 8.5. Well, that's pretty high. Yeah, it is. It, it was. Surfer, <clears throat> Surfer 3. Uh, yeah, 8.5, and I went for 425. 425, bro. All right, why is this taking so long? Case, can you get some people to join this queue for me? You, you're, you're working with the Magic Online, can you do that? Can you help me out? Has anyone voted for their favorite clip? Oh, Hajigalashi. So, what is this? This is crazy what you did here. Cat <laughs> oh, my God. This is amazing. The best stream from a war. He <laughs> Twitch streams. <laughs> Okay. Okay. God, I have to, like, watch these because I don't actually know what they are. Oh, my God. Did I just vote accidentally? Oh, no. Can I unvote? I guess I can unvote. How do I know what the clips are? I'm actually next to Mike and Frank, but like Mike's body, I'm still regenerating. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's a good hand. No. Sneep it. JK. All right, well. 
Do I keep this? I don't actually know. Seems bad to me, dog. I'm gonna go to five? I'm gonna keep it. We just need one black. Nailed it. We did it. See, it's good. We're good. We did it. Oh, man, my neck, though. That neck, though. <laughs> good one. Hey, Alexa, is my dad ever coming back? Yeah, me neither. That was your finest moment, I think. It was pretty up there. Dude, I can't watch it without laughing. Eh, me neither. It was just so perfect, man. Yep, that's your uh that's the opening right there. Powerful. Powerful opening. All right. Well, I don't know how to beat that. This guy, I guess. Sure. Oh my god, these brackets are so huge. I can't believe this, uh... I can't believe the this this bracketify. Brackify? Brackify. Brackify. Me you know about my brackify. MTG Pyro, welcome back. Congrats on our sub, baby. <clears throat> Nine months. Really appreciate it, buddy. I like Reaper here. My name is Rob. Look, they're playing green cards, but I feel like they're playing them better than we are. Yeah, Reaper's also nice because we can play Brontodon and Supplier next turn. Where if we play Brontodon, we can't play both of these. So, that does work out a little better. I wish this headache would go away. Suck it, Rob. You must hate this. <laughs> oh, Veraska's gone forever. Forever. Well, you could find broker. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. I'm not your dad, but I'm just giving you suggestions. Are you my son. dad? Maybe. One, two, three, four. So this guy costs nine. And then now he costs seven, and I have four mana. It's not it's not good. We're gonna double block. Do they have a pump spell? Does this deck have pump spells? No. That'd be ridiculous. It does you're gonna get wrecked. Oh, we're getting straight up shrecked if they have pump spell. I'm waiting. Waiting for you to cast a spell. Oh. Traded Brontodon for that guy and we drew a card. Good deal. This guy costs one less. Now he costs six and we have five. Oh god, what is this? Oh Jesus. Oh, we got the choops. We got big choops. Is it a 10 10 for five? Yeah. Oh no, actually it's a dead dead for five. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's that's a good clip, Wolf. That's a good clip. They're looking at us. Mm. Yeah, this deck is gas. See how quickly I flipped there? I was like, this deck sucks, and now I'm on my head, so I'm like, oh, this deck's amazing. Probably the best deck in standard. What is that? Get out of here. Ain't nobody got time for this, dude. I get to draw a card and fill my graveyard? Yes, please. What do we want to do first, draw or fill? I don't know. We'll draw first, and then we'll fill. Dang, should have done it the other way. Yeah, I ain't got no floaty boys. Floaty boys. Make me run. Should we just, are we supposed to be attacking for one and just throwing that dude away? I'd rather have it to block, but. Oh, 
Another fine... Well, getting two guys back actually is pretty sweet, right? We just get two choops. Ch -ch 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 choops! How, ma how much does this guy cost now? One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, so this guy costs two mana? Oh, that's gas. So we can go one, two, three, crack this, get something back, and then just play the other one. Yep, that's literally what we're going to do. That's pretty insane. Let's just get the other Hulk back, right? Do we not have enough? Oh, wait, hold on. We got we to gotta trade, I guess. Oh, that's sad. Hold on. What did I miscount? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, because it's not. Because it's... Yeah, you took it out of the graveyard. The average calculation is 123,456. Hmm. I'm weird, despite, despite starting, starting MTG with Dom. I love seeing all the otter cards. Anyway, I want to thank you for all the great content. And our mutual love of MTG cubes. To be honest, I love MTG. I just took MTG as cubes. That would be awesome. Handy Campbell Gamer, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I, uh, what did you say? What did you say something? Because you took it out of the graveyard. Yeah, but there's no way to do it otherwise. Because if we play this, as soon as we, I guess we could put it on the stack. Oh, you want to put this on the stack? Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right, well, this is awkward now. That was a pretty bad turn now. That changed everything. <gasps> Ashley with the sub. What's going on, buddy? Thank you so much. Oh, well, things are looking bleak. I think we're going to trade. We can't wipe the board anymore. Okay. I'm at work and really avoiding this project. Where's work? I don't actually know where work is. I thought you just did. I thought you I thought you worked for yourself, unless you, that's what you mean. Yeah, we're just going to take six here. Actually, stop procrastinating. Do your, do your work. Maybe I feel like we should have got Chupacabra back. Ah, that makes sense actually. That explains your that explains your existence in the U.S. Actually, I should have known that. All right, so this guy's cheap, right? So is the other one. So you just double we can block, block, block. Oh, and it goes to the battlefield. What a what a deal, dude. What a deal. What a time to be alive. Two weeks and you'll have your masters? Man, that's actually pretty impressive. Hmm. Hmm. It's well, even faster than when I got my masters. <laughs> oh, yeah, when did you get your masters? Uh. July? And on that note, what was that? July. July, what year? 19 Dickety 2. Oh, 19 Dickety 2, a classic year. I would definitely, I would love, to, I'm still loving to visit you guys. That is still on, I think we have to block everything. No, we don't. We can go to one here. Why didn't they attack with this elf? They would have literally put us in such a bad place if they killed this elf. Is Mike a ghost? He's working on it. He's working on ghost status. His master's is in ghost, ghostology. So it's real, it's close. He's, he's real close to getting it in July. Ghostology and bonitis. It's a double master's. Your mom's a double master. So if we crack this, we can play one, two, three, four choops, but we can't do both, so that's sad. Are we dead? No, because we can block here. We can get two dudes back. Oh, let's do that. How how much is this? I don't know actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a lot. So we're gonna kill the six seven with it just to be sure. Kill this dude. If he dies, he dies. And he did die. Yeah, there's a lot of Blanchard armors. This is probably the most Blanchard armors I've ever seen in a constructed match. What are we getting back? Double Choops? One, two, three, four. We can only cast one, so... I guess we just get double Choops and... Hope that we survive. Spanked by punts? How are we getting spanked by punts? 
We're literally, we're literally crushing. I don't even know what you're talking about. One life is not dead. Unless you're referring to them. No, we're getting two Choops. We can get the Hulk back with this, you friggin' nerd. I want to be able to play a Choops next turn if they play th the big thing. Oh, God. Oh, is it just another Gigantosaur? See, that's why we got Choops. If we got Hulk, we'd just be playing Hulk and then having a jump block. Nobody wins there, man. Except for my dad. God, so many Morals. Alright, so what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures in the graveyard. So if we if we sack this, we'll have seven creatures, and it'll still be two, right? So one, two, three, four, activate one, two, memorial. We can only do that. That's the only thing we can do. So I'm just gonna play the choops here. Old Chupa Loop. I'm probably just gonna play Branch Walker. You got some Chupa Loops going on? Yeah, that's my cereal, Chupa Loops. Uh, Golgari Raiders? I'm gonna keep that. That guy's like a 10 10. Wow, I'm surprised one Golgari Raiders. You're looking very ethereal today. Yeah, he's floating through the, the ether. I am the ghost daddy. Is that what you tell your, your ladies to call you? Yes. <laughs> call me Ghost Daddy. So we can go one, two, three, four, rate it up. How big is this guy? Eight, eight. That's pretty big. Uh, I don't want to get greedy though, because if they have any way to remove one of these guys, I don't think they will, because they're green. They're also in top deck mode. Oh, they just we just win the game. All right. I feel like we're well positioned against the deck with creatures. This exiles it, man. I didn't even know that. God, what a dummy. I don't like Brontodon even though they have armor. Like, if I have to sack this to kill their thing. Ritual of Soot's probably pretty good here. I want to bring Ritual of Soot in. Oh, what, are we, what don't we like? I don't... Oh, these are good. Actually, these are just great to get two guys back. Play Crafter seems bad. Brontodon. Probably Brontodon, yeah. Crawl Harpooner doesn't do anything. Alright, so... Golden Demise? Nah. Vraska... Apparently, Vraska's bad in all the matchups. Huh. Denmark, thank you so much for the resub. My longest internet relationship. <laughs> Eight months, man. Congratulations. Congratulations to both of us. Good for us. Congratulations. Yeah, I do like Rex Sage. I also kind of like Crawl Foragers just to... Uh, scriptures could be good. Scriptures. I don't know why I said it like that. Because you're dumb. Scriptures. I'm going to bring in the scriptures. That's... Who is that? Is that a character? You're a character. Okay. Well, you're very, you've been very helpful. You're welcome. Rex Sage, good. I meant the PW P W Vraska. Yes, I know. That's why I took her out. I know what you meant. You thought you meant that. You said that last game too. You're like Vraska's bad here. So I'm like, all right, against Mono Green and against Drake's Vraska's bad. So why? Our opponent has conceded. Good game. Good game. We had a good run. Ashley, when can I visit you guys? I asked, I think we ask this every time. I think we just go back and forth in circles here. I'm waiting for you guys to be like, hey, there's this cool thing happening this weekend. And I'm going to be like, okay, let's do it then. All right. Well, I guess we're going to try again. I'd say GG, but it was not GG. It was BG. I told you to pick a weekend in November. Yep, there you go. There you go. That's that's about how it goes. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. Oh, God. Oh, did you hear those cracks, man? I heard them. Dang. What, again? Oh, but this guy has the, uh, the sweet uh, Teresa Nielsen uh, arena lands and this promo Llanowar elf. So this is impressive so far. A fancy lad, you say. <laughs> oh, a fancy lad. Nope, that's not going to do it. We're going to add this guy. Oh, Yale's birthday is in January. So that's mid-level cool, I guess. And if you're into that kind of thing, you know, birthdays. 
and significant others and all that. Oh, what if I totally can? Can we surprise him for his? Can I come visit and surprise him for his birthday? That seems like it'd be pretty sweet. Um, we have nothing to do here, right? So I'm just gonna memorial. Ooh, fancy lad snack cakes, my favorite. No, I've never, I've never had, I've never had a fancy lad snack cake in my inventory at any point in time. Really? Yeah. Why? Not even just sold them. No, because not even to hold them. To sell, to sell them. No, because like you get, they give you nothing for them, right? They give you like a, like a cap. Maybe. It's not worth the wait. It's not worth the, like it's not worth the clutter. I'll be a bitchy and cleaning that with the week or so. Oh, so something to look forward to. Okay. The week of, so something to look at. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Are you more of a yum yum deviled eggs kind of guy? No, I'm a more of a, I will never put any of this garbage in my inventory when I'm playing Fallout. Oh, let's just actually play Plague Crafter. And even though it's just, it's getting a stupid Lanowar Elf, we still get to sack our Stitcher supplier. I had to buy General's, General yeah, So's Revenge, cool. though. It's real expensive. What is that? Is that a it's weapon? A, it's a sword. Really? Yeah. And you buy it? Yeah, that's the only way you can get it. Is it good? I mean, I've never been the hand-to-hand or uh, melee combat. Is that Which one is that considered? It's like one of the best weapons in the game. Really? Melee, yeah. Interesting. Well, that guy only costs four. It also does 50% more damage to robots. So that's cool. Well, who doesn't, you know? I don't want any of these on top of the library. We hit, what did we hit? Three, two lands and a Stitcher supplier? No, I'm good, thanks. So this guy costs three instead of four, but, <gasps> but we only have two? Well, that's sad. Uh, no, I'm good. I actually never did a... A melee build either so that's why I'm trying it out I've never played on survival because it's not fun it's just too much work like I'm not about bear, bear grillsing it in, uh, in Fallout I think the problem is like you can't fast travel which makes up that's exhausting so much time it's right it's time consuming like even the saving at beds thing I can live with but like no fast travel I'm just like <sighs> dang Johnny Guitar just attack with both these. Do we play Midnight Reaper and attack with both these dudes? Maybe. What do we have? So this guy costs three, right? Oh, and then we could have Forest in a play, but that doesn't do anything for us. Yeah, we're just going to play this guy. and Attack or not attack? Maybe not attack? I don't know. Do we attack? Uh, do we not attack? I'll just attack with one. Because if this guy dies and we hit a land... Nope, they're not gonna. They're just taking it. They're like, that's you know what? I'm good. I'm good. You're coming, Kale. I'll let you play and she get back to work out. Ashley, I'll talk to you soon. I'll message you on Facebook and we can figure something out. Now I have this. Now I have Adam Bomb Baby stuck in my head. Adam Bomb Baby. Adam Bomb. Mike is here with his wake wall. Zumba doo doo scuba doo doo and the doo doo might be all the time. Might be every single day. I don't think they have anything good anyway. I think I should just. Hey, I'm selfing here. What lands are those? These are the. Uh, in real life, these are actually expensive, but uh, they're Teresa Nielsen Arena lands in real life. Come on, Bobby MTGO. You should know this. You have MTGO in your name. Got him. So we're just going to go black and green and hulk it up. And we'll get back a forest because it's free. And now what are we doing? Plague Crafter? Nah, that's not good. Let's play Branch Walker here. Maybe we'll hit a land. Maybe we won't. Um, Yeah, you can go to the graveyard. You're not exciting to me. Guru lands, that's what they're called. There you go. Nailed it. Here's what I like to call them the Guru lands. The what? The Guru lands. You, you never, I've never heard you call them that once. I was like, didn't we board this guy out? And then I realized, oh, this is actually a different matchup, so. 
Adam bomb, Michael, Adam bomb, Michael, Michael with his mom. Yeah, you heard me, Michael, Michael with his mom, okay? Hmm. I don't want to hear your sass, you son of a Mitch. You got a serious question in the chat. What is it? What's better, eggplant parm or the eggplant parm sandwiches you make with the left? Uh, eggplant parm sandwiches, actually. And the reason is because there's something about, um, like, the breading and the sauce that happens when it cools off. Like, it gets it gets the flavors come out more. So I'm going to go with eggplant parm sandwiches. Oh, eggplant sandwiches. Um, I want to get a land back, so I think I'm just going to play Golgari Feinberg or get a land. Because I want to be able to find Allie next turn and just blow the blow the roof off this thing. You know what I'm saying? No. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk to me. <laughs> Don't say my name. I'm just going to get a forest. I hate doing it. It's so, it's so unexciting. Like, we're going to lose all these guys. We can put the counters on here so that we can still have two very big dudes. I'm just hoping they don't draw one evolve. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Well, that was basically the perfect thing you could have ever drawn. Because now you have two four sixes. I see. Well, we're still going to do it. Michael B. So I saw my new doctor yesterday, and the physician's assistant was asking about hobbies, and I mentioned magic, and I was heading out the lab for blood work. The assistant asked, see with magic online or magic on Wow, that is a really specific question. That's also awesome, and I would be like, I'm going to come back here all the time now. Well, not all the time, because, you know, you don't go to the doctor's office when you're not sick, but I would I would definitely consider them as my uh, my regular... I agree, but I wanted your opinion as a fellow eggplant enthusiast. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page then here, because you're right. Oh, all my creatures died. Well, now I don't know. So there's, though. I don't know. I don't even know if it's worth this. Actually, it is, because we still have Plague Crafter, and it kills these two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put the counters on this guy. All right. No, nope. seems good. Four six four six 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 five six. I drew another thing. Oh, that's a good card. That is a good card. Well then, wonder what you're gonna hit here. Did you hit another Vivian? Oh, you hit a Chup. Well, that's fine. That's okay. Well, my exact reaction was, well, we're best friends now. Uh, I'm going to come here all the time. God, if we had one more land, we can go Choop and Plague Crafter. Well, now we're just going to play the Choop. Actually, Plague Crafter might actually be better because we're still killing one of these guys. Uh, and we want to be able to Chupacabra the other one. But if we play Plague Crafter next turn, they're just going to sack the Chupacabra. So that seems worse. Could also play Ghost or Shaman first. We're not, we're not the best at this game. So now we're in a situation where you can either keep give Vivian a read and and block the six six, or you can you got you're going to lose either the six six or the Vivian read. So that's nice. Matthew Ori, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. You, you might say long time. Long time. I'm not going to say that. I appreciate that you think that, but I'm not going to say long time, bong time. You just did. Got him. And he did. Dang it. All right, so you got a chupa choop. You ever had a chupa choop before? No. Explain it to me. Have you really not? They're just making stuff up. No, they're the little, them little pops. Oh, maybe. They're the little chupa choops. 
Why do you randomly know about this old time candy? They ain't old time. You can find these in like Borders and like the mall, and all, you can find these all kinds of places. Yeah, well, they're established in 1958, so they're pretty old. Your mother was established in 1958. That's actually correct. Wow, look, they hit a carnage tire enough to Vivian Reed. How nice. <laughs> Why do we have this memorial to Folly? One, two, three, and a sack. We'll get three after that. Oh, we can just get actually pernicious. Oh, that's, that's friggin' amazing. So one, let's get back a Plague Crafter. One, two, a th -th three. Hoo -hoo -hoo. One, two, three. Let's sack himself. Nice tyrant, bro. Oh, they sacked Vivian Reed? Dang it. I forgot you could do that. Yeah, me too. Whatever, I got more. I got more where that came from. I totally forgot you could sack that. I didn't know you could choose. You get rid of 6-6? Six, six? It's the best one. 5-6? Strictly worse, but lets you attack. I understand that. Yeah, that's why. I get it. I get it. I get it. They're 23? Oh, because they were getting like a million from the walkers. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, God, Memorial Folly. Drawing Memorial is so bad, though. Like, even if you put it on top, like... Because it comes into play tap, so next turn we're going to not do anything with it. I guess it's okay, because we have... We can just stay back this turn. 6-6 six, six and a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, we'll just block with these two. <sighs> My name is Michael, and I... Cool to catch you live. I usually watch on YouTube while cooking breakfast for the hungry people of Olympia. Looking sharp. What's going on, Dirt MTG? That's pretty awesome, actually. The best part about... Oh, I see. Well, isn't that a... That's a fantastic top deck. We're all very proud of you. And we're dead. Yep. Thanks, Memorial to Folly. Cool game. I don't see why Thrashing Bronson on isn't like an Assassin's Trophy, I think. That just doesn't make sense to me. Just doesn't seem... Oh, I guess it's because it's of the spell, and you can, like, this deck wants all the creatures it can get. Uh, I, it should probably be Reclamation Sage, though. I don't know what it should be, man. I don't know if I like this deck. This deck doesn't feel like my style. You mean you don't like losing? <laughs> Correct. Correct. Uh, oh God, see, they have, they have a bunch of small idiots, but they also have big idiots that I want to deal with. Actually, Ritual seems good here. Oh, this is a, this is a snap keep. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. What's the mana base in this deck? You got four, over, four overgrowns, four woodlands, four memorials. Okay. No. Yeah. Well... Yeah. We have no idea what you're doing right now. Same same situation where it's like turn one forest into a memorial on top. We have. We have. I guess we get to Reaper though. If they don't go Steel Leaf Champion here. Woodland Cemetery, Steel Leaf Champion. Oh, that's not it. Yep, alright. Well, we boarded those in, too. We got those, too. You're not special. What other bros are you going to test today? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Vraska's Contempt. Seems good. Alright. Having a good time. Having a good time. Want me to send over that Muldroth list? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, you can. Have you seen this five-color mono black deck? The, you mean Ali and Trazi's deck? The guy I'm literally on a podcast with?
Um, yeah, this is fine. This guy's gonna die anyway. Might as well fill the graveyard. Fill the coffers. <laughs> no, obviously not that one. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, you can have this one. <sighs> this deck is cute. I just don't think it's... Like, I don't think we have enough things that are really beneficial to it. Does that make sense? Like, like you're not getting enough benefit out of playing so many creatures. Where, like, instead of playing, like, Vraska's Six Mana Vraska or Karn or something like that. Which are just so much more powerful cards. How much does this guy cost? Five. And then we get a land. Yeah, it's just like we don't like we just don't have any ways to beat Karn. How does it feel to be just ahead, Mike? <laughs> pretty good. You know, it's uh it's pretty good. And it's a great way to stay in shape. That's a little family guy meme. Oh, cool. Like, I just feel like we're so far behind here. And the reason being that we're so far behind here. That's a good reason being. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Glad to hear it's working out for you. It's a tough life, but someone's got to do it. It's a dirty job. With, remember Dirty Jobs with Mike Rowe? I do remember that. That show was a lot better when I used to have cable because then I could watch it, but now... I wonder if it's still going on. I bet it is. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Mike Rowe is kind of weird. Dirty Jobs. Looks like the last episode was three years ago. December 15th. It was only three seasons? It feels like it was way more than three seasons. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna scoop here. We have no we have no way to come back in this game. I wanna play one more match with this deck, but I don't think it's I, I don't I don't think it's what I'm gonna be playing. Rob always sends me these decks and he's like, play this deck, it's really good. Is it a YouTube or a Facebook show now? And hmm. I'm just like, is it? Mike, are you still there? I mean, Rob. Rob's gone. I was, now I literally call all my friends Mike because... We are all Mikes. Yeah. cheap as hell. It's a dirty mic, but someone has to clean him. I would have probably ritual and find there. Yeah, but like we didn't we have did we have find in hand? I'm pretty sure we didn't actually we had ritual. We couldn't find anything. Oh you mean on our turn? But what are we like would we get Chupacabra and Midnight Reaper back? It doesn't stop like the the Karn sl onslaught the Karn slot, if you will. And they already had Chup they still had they still had Chupacabra on board. So like it just doesn't really do much I don't know like they've been eating our guys with their death death gorge scavenger Defendrix thank you so much for the resub welcome back good 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 friendo I have to close all of these guys out any chance you can play this deck and some modern uh, probably not playing modern today unfortunately um, I do have to test for an, an event that I might be playing in, so I do want to play some standard and get familiar. And I'm I'm going to be gone between uh, Wednesday and Friday of this week, so I'm not going to have too much time to be playing them. Under the sea, under the sea, Mike is much better when things are better. 
Take it from me. Mulligan. Keep ems. Mix sneep ems. Yeah, this guy could actually be good with double glow spore shamans. What are you doing over there, man? You flicking off things? You flicking off your dirt arm? Are we still be getting vids when you're... Yes, I have tons of things to upload. I have lots and lots of uploads. I have uploads twice a day and then once on the weekends and up until Monday, so... And then Monday I should be able to stream again, so... That should be fine. Do, 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 do. Oh, Monday, you say? I did. I did say that. Oh. Are you okay? No. Are you on drugs? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well. This guy's getting super aggro, bro. Do you remember that time your mother was getting super aggro? No. Got him. Did I get him? I don't know. The world may never know. Do, though. Do, though? It do, though. It do, though. Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. Are you singing the song from The Little Mermaid? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You have to do with your finest Jamaican accent. No, I do not, man. They're coming for you, buddy. They left, though. Yeah, they, they missed you. Your hiding spot worked. Hmm. No, it doesn't really change. Chamber sentry? What is even happening? You're getting beat down, boy. <laughs> oh, they didn't attack. Never mind. You're not getting beat down. Got him. Bro, you don't know me. You don't know my beat down life. This is the Hadama's climb deck. You're right. This is the Obama's climb deck. Sirens robs home from the bank. <laughs> good times. That's a good meme. That's from that's from under the sea. You guys know. Under Mike B. Yeah, that's fine. Look at that little elf. Look at that little elfy boy. <laughs> oh, John, it gets me every time, buddy. Gets me every time. That's very good. What do you get back here, man? Do we get anything back, or do we just play this tap to play Glowspor Shami? Maybe the playgraph there? Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's get plaguey McPlagums. Remember that time you had the plague? Yeah, it was pretty rough. It was real touch and go there, man. I didn't think you'd make it. And then you died. And now I'm back. Now you're back. To find me here without that look upon my face. This deck's weird. Their deck? Yeah. Yeah, but it's cool. I like it. That was Mike B's father's invisibility shirt. He left it for him when he went to the store for the wizard sticks. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's actually a true story, though. All right, it's getting a little chilly in here now. Oh, it's getting a little chilly. Really? This is what you want to be? I'm a little chilly. Uh, chilly, chilly, chilly. Uh... Are you done? Yeah. That's good. Laugh, because you're so proud of yourself. Laugh at your pride. Laugh. Laugh for me. Laugh. Laugh and grow fat. Laugh and grow fat? Mm hmm Is that so, what you do? It's a little Metal Gear Solid 2 reference for you. Oh. Wow. There's a, there's a boss called the Fat Man, and that's one of his quotes. You're the Fat Man. Wow. Got him. <laughs> 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 What is this, uh, this? I forgot the pelt collector gets bigger when you kill the creature, too. What is going on? Is that little, little arms it? That gross, little arms bro. It there. You're a gross bro. Your mom is a pelt, your mom is a pelt collector. If you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, she collects pelts. That's her job. Is it? Yes. Is it? 
How big is this guy now? Six mana? Get out of here, Get man. Erect. Is this a league? No, this is a this is a Magic the Gathering online match. Got him. So you can't just say got him after everything, man. Yeah, I did though, didn't I? No, That's weird because I feel like no, I did that. I don't think you did. You don't think I did? No, I mean you did that, but I don't think it works. Wow. That'll do. This guy? And this guy, maybe? It's either Playcrafter, but they're just going to sack the 1-1. One, one. I think it's actually Reaper Boy. Sputnik, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, good sir. Really appreciate it. Got him. Did you? That's what it says. I don't want any of these lands. No. Like your feather, bro. Thanks, bro. Put that in your hat and you'll be Yankee Doodle Dandy. His name was my name, too. That's John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> That's a totally different... They all run together. Okay. This is... That's dandiest. <laughs> you okay? Did that one get you? The dandiest. You are the dandiest. Oh, what are they doing? Convoking here? What's happening right now? Are they playing like 16-16? What's going on? 1, 2, 3, 4, that would 5, be, 6, 7, 8, 9. That'd be epic. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, just that idiot? That's fine. Let me draw a fine finale so I can kill all these dudes. That's literally not... Or overgrown tomb. You know, whichever work comes first. 1, oh, two, hoo. One, two three, four. So this guy costs what? Five? Yeah, so that guy's never coming out this turn. Plaguey McCraftums. It's a long land of War Elf. Get big. Give me that. Big Chuparino. So four now. Have no profitable attacks, so we'll avoid that. Play this. Old land for poor and be and bike me. Hmm. Even against the like the obscure Hadama's climb deck, we're losing. I'm gonna have to look at. I'm gonna have to look at uh, MTG Goldfish and see what's going on here. I need to know what's going on in the standard format. I want to know. I don't want to look at these invitational lists because I don't want to be that dude. But I do want to play one of these. Ooh, blue, light, green. Baraska Relic Seeker. Oh, this is just what I wanted. This is just what the doctor ordered. Oh, sure. Get rid of that. Golgari Finebroke or uh, Disinformation Campaigns. Yeah, that's pretty good. This looks like a deck that loses to my dad. Yeah, to your dad. What does it lose to? Probably Drake's. So 5-5 five, five and 4-4. Four, four. So what we can do is go double block this gentle boy. Oh, and then you can just shoot one of them? Yeah, that's fine. Maybe you won't, though. You will. We still get to draw two here. That's pretty good. Proper Polygon, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yo, it's about that time to bring forth the rhythm and the rhyme. Is it? Well, I don't know about all that. Oh, and his trample. I didn't know this guy had trample. So basically, we're at three. And both of these guys can kill us, so we really have to find something here. That ain't it. I don't think. Unless we can just get through, and this guy doesn't have trample, so... Even if he did. It's not enough. Yeah, it's, uh, it's rough. Yep, we are dead. If we play this, kill this. We have two blockers. Eh, we're not strictly dead. What is this guy? How big is this now? Two? Nice. All right. Play you. Get the moral. Play you. One, two, three, four. We have to actually kill one of these guys. Because otherwise they use it to kill us. And now we have three blockers. 
And they're in top deck mode, so we're actually not dead. However, nope, we are dead because any guy that dies kills... No, well, no, we're not dead. Yes, we are. Yes, we're dead. Mike, did you get out of rat debt? I did not. How did your poker match go the other day? I got third. Well, you suck. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Did you win anything for coming in third? Nope. So you suck then. Wow. All they have to do is attack with these two and then we're dead. They're thinking about it. Well, they figured it out. Oh, Michael Bees. Oh, what? Oh, okay. We didn't go to... Yep. Perfect. They figured it out. Come on, rock your Michael Bees. Michael Bees. Uh, the old block and concede. It's a classic. This deck is... Um, Really not hot garbage. It's really not great. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. That's what I feel like. I feel like you're playing like two ones and two two threes and three twos and two ones and three ones, and you're just like, uh, okay, now what? How do I actually get through damage and kill you? And and I mean, I don't really. You alright, man? You doing okay? God, you're so extremely weird. It's very strange. <laughs> you're like the weirdest person I've ever met. That can't be true. That's impossible. Is it? Golgari? Oh, I know my regular Golgari is good. That's why I'm like, why would I play this over that? What are the perks? I don't think there are any, man. I'm working for Phyrexian Scrippers. Phyrexian Scrippers. I don't love Play Crafter in this matchup. I don't think it's great. This is just Durds and Turds. That's actually, I think that's the name of this deck. I will play first. Oh, look, another one lander with the stitchers. Keep it. No, we're not keeping this. Sneep it. That's the same thing. I mean, we saw... Oh, uh, Rex Sage actually would have been good because I forgot the chamber sentries. That's my bad, but... Yeah, you dumb. How dare you talk to me like this? Also, Crawl Harpooner doesn't do much, so we probably should have uh, swapped Crawl Harpooner for... There's a lot going on in these matches. My headache has not faded yet, so I don't feel terrible about that, but... Actually, let's just play these things and we'll we'll go towards this. How about that? What does that card even do? There you go. Read it. There, I'll put it over here for you. What? Are you... It's not great. It's not great. It's like a rathic. It's a damnation. Bruh. A slow nation. Slow nation, y'all. Slow nate. Uh, I will put that on top because I need it. So that's the first time I've ever put a land on top. With close poor shaman. Actually, I think it's a. This is a rob deck, lol. This is a rob deck. This seems like a rob deck. <laughs> oh, that's getting clipped. That's getting quoted. I'm going to send that right to him right now. That's hilarious. Wow, that's amazing. Rob, where you at, boy? Big troops. Rob plays garbage card. Deck fails miserably. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's so sad. Oh, God. I feel like this is a reoccurring theme with Rob decks. What is it? 
Where, like, it looks sweet on paper, but it's just actual hot trash. But he also hypes it up. He's like, this deck's doing really well. It's, it's It crushes everything. It, it does so well. And then I play it, and I'm like... Peaches and cream. This is my friend, Mike. Your question is really weirdly phrased. Uh, actually, Frank found me in a garbage can, and then he adopted me. <laughs> yeah, this so. is like a week ago, though. Not like he was a kid at the time. That's his acoustic son. <laughs> a classic. Oh, that is a classic. Look at all these idiots. Oh, destroy all non-artifact creatures. Boy, that's awkward, isn't it? Wow, that's so bad. <laughs> it just gets worse because they happen to have double chamber sentry. Oh, God. I want to play this deck. Can I play this deck? We're playing this deck next, so stay tuned. I want to play any of these cards, dude. Oh, my God. Like, it literally just kills an elf. Nothing in our hand does anything. Yeah, Mike is my ward. <laughs> do I have to manually renew my sub each once? It depends. Is it a Twitch sub? If it's a Twitch Prime sub, you do. So anybody who has Twitch Prime subs, if you want to renew those, you got to do it manually. You can do that now. Go ahead. I'll just wait. However, anyone with an, uh, a Tier 1 Twitch sub... Does not have to do that. Are you doing Taco Tuesday night? Maybe. Tacos do sound pretty good. I'm game. All duh. Thank you. Nikki Two Shoes, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I forgot Whoa. it was Tuesday. You forgot it was Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Well, when you're not going to work, it's easy to forget these things. No, that's just the people. That's just you. You just want to make excuses. Hey, it's the start of my weekend. Don't normalize your behavior. Why not? I'll normalize your face. You'll normalize my face. Punk. Oh. Got him. Did you? Well, the thing is, Matthew Ori, I would never get a Taco Bell when there are better options. And I also wouldn't get a taco box. So. Why not? 12 tacos. Eat them all. Josh, yes. I am on a little mini vacay. I have a... Uh, up to six days off in a row if I'd like. Which I think I do. Yeah, because Mike, when Mike has given the option to make more money, he chooses not to. <laughs> He's just like, you know what, I'll pass. I'll decline making extra money. Actually, weirdly enough, my supervisor reached out to me and was like, just so you know, two of the days will be paid. And I was like, oh, cool. Really? Yeah, she like left me a message. Thank you. That's kind of so, weird. It's actually not that bad. The mic, yeah, but it could be better is the point. Like, you always, you use you use these situations to, like, you're like, oh, that helps me make a bad decision then. It, like, encourages you to make the worst decision. Whereas, like, if you went back to work on Thursday and Friday, Mike could take Thursday and Friday off uh, if he wanted to. Or he can go to work and get paid because he missed, he missed a little bit of work from the, uh, the back thing, too. But I'm just like, you could go back and make two more days money. But you're using the fact that they're paying you for two of your vacation days as an excuse to take those extra days off. I can't argue with you. It's always weird when I hear people outside. I'm like, you're way too close to my house if I can literally hear you outside. They're pretty far, actually. I know, but I can still hear them. Like, loud and clear, no less. Mike B, can you borrow Frank's stream equipment while he's out of town? Mike B streams? I guess technically I could. It's That is true. He technically I don't could. know if I could do this show solo, though. I forgot these guys got indestructible, and so now I feel bad about not blocking the, the bigger guy. There's a lot going on right now, though, and my head is really not allowing me to concentrate fully. So for you guys watching on YouTube, I do apologize. I know these games are not played uh, flawlessly as you're like you're used to. Eight hours of ice crushing ASMR, yes. Well, just eat peppers. That'd be hilarious if like I got a if I if someone was like, hey man, someone just went live on your account. I would freak out and then I would turn it on. And it's just Mike sitting here eating peppers and crunching ice. <laughs> oh, Lord.
Wow, at Frank Lepore, leave Michael alone. Life isn't just about work. It's also about loafing and playing video games to substitute real accomplishments with a feeling of accomplishment. <laughs> yep. With the feeling of accomplishment. Yeah, I guess that's true. Probably be playing a lot of Fallout. Yeah, Mike restarted uh, Fallout 4 recently. Like last night, right? Like just yesterday? Yeah, and then I restarted again because I didn't like my character. What? That's so much restarting. All right, so this is funny because three of the four of, of their chamber sentries are in play right now. And we have a Phyrexian scriptures in hand. So it's like, it's probably the most awkward situation ever. Yep, this is this deck is sweet. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to call it quits on this bad boy. Um, uh, I'm not loving it. Also, I, I don't think this deck is terrible. I just don't think I have the reps in to really get... Uh, like correct lines and correct sli sideboarding. Like it seems actually like it's more complicated, and this also seems like a deck that's going to benefit someone who's had a lot more reps uh, with it than I have had. Um, same thing with the chromatic blacklist that we also played the other day. So, apologies if this was not a uh, hundred percent up to par, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it seems like it's missing something. Like you're just playing a bunch of two twos and three twos that they don't care about. It's very strange. I don't know. I, I, I didn't I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I'm not super comfortable with it. I was excited about it, but I didn't get... I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. But uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving, so don't leave. But uh, yeah, uh, you can check me out on Patreon, on Twitch, and you can check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And also... Uh, you can check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. The link is in the description. His work is amazing. You get 10% off with the promo code Frank. And uh, hopefully you guys are... Uh... This deck is very, very intuitive. I don't think I don't think you mean intuitive there. Definitely, definitely don't think intuitive is the word. Intuitive means that, like, there's not a lot of decisions and it all comes naturally to you. Like, that you don't have to really think about it because you can just intuit it. So I definitely don't think that's the word that you mean if there's a ton of mic i don't think there's actually that many micro decisions there may be a lot of micro decisions but there's not a lot you can do on each turn like usually like well i have a branch walker and a chupacabra in my hand and i get to do one of these two things i can also memorial to folly but then i can only play branch walker so you know if they have a 12-4 arc light or a 12-4 drake you probably just have to kill the drake and you can't sit there and be like well i'm a branch walker and memorial to folly because then, then you die so I mean, I think there are a lot of decisions to make, but I think only, like, one of them on each turn is going to end up not killing you. Yeah, I don't think there's that many micro-decisions. I, I mean... Like, this guy... Yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do on each turn, but, like, the problem is, like, a lot of the micro... Like, I think that's disingenuous, because a lot of the micro-decisions you're making don't matter. Like, if I play a Glowspore Shaman or a Merfolk Branchwalker on turn two, a lot of times it doesn't really matter. Like, I mean, on you're going to play Stitcher's Player on turn one. You're going to play Merfolk Branchwalker and this guy on two. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe you can play it again. I do have a super small sample size. I played four matches, but I mean, like, I didn't get a great feel for it. And, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Please leave your comments in the comment section. And uh, maybe you guys have different opinions. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it.